Om Shanti and good morning to you. Now we are doing the recording of 1st of August where Supreme God Father has another message for us, another blessing for us. He wants us to become a master almighty authority and keep all our physical organs in law and order. Physical organs means eyes, ears, mouth, hand, legs and the skin so that we are in control of these five, el five elemental organs and they are not controlling us. That means mind over matter and we are doing the right kind of action so that the actions, the results which we get are more powerful and more profound and they are taking us ahead in our life. So let's see what does God have to say. God says, May you be an all master almighty authority and keep all your physical organs in law and order. A master almighty authority, a Raja Yogi, that means king, Raja means king of our five senses, but more important than five senses are the subtle senses, the mind, the intellect and the habits, which control the five senses. It's one who becomes a self-sovereign, that means self-control. Self-control means that you are ruling over yourself, physical self and uses all his physical organs according to his law and order. Just as a king has a court, right, and he's got what? Mantris, or he's got MPs, or he's got people who suggest things to him. In the same way, you have to hold a daily court of your royal workers, your physical organs, and ask them about their welfare to make sure none of your workers are in opposition. That means you ask them, did you shout at somebody in the mouth? Did you look at somebody with lustful eyes, with angry, greedy, jealous eyes? Did you hear something impure about somebody, negative about someone and did you feel good about it? Why did you hear that? You're not supposed to hear that. You're not supposed to see that evil. You're not supposed to speak evil. You're not supposed to hear evil and you're not supposed to think evil. That means the mind and intellect. So we have to, every night before sleeping, ask these physical organs and the subtle organs if they are listening to us and if they did the work according to what we want them to as a soul. So why the soul, I'm in control of my mind, intellect and habits and my mind, intellect and habits, the mantras, are in control of the five senses. Did they work well or not? So God says, in the same way, you have to hold a daily court of your royal workers. These are royal workers, your physical organs, and ask them about their welfare to make sure none of your workers are in opposition. So if there's a strike, the workers are in opposition, what happens? The factory closes. So here also what happens if our five senses are not in control of us, what happens? Physical problems, relationship issues. We didn't have to say, didn't want to say that, but it came out of the mouth and relationships were gone. Business is gone maybe, job is gone and you are not supposed to see something evil, you saw it and became negative, your productivity went down and there's so many things which happen in our life, right? So we have to be careful about what these five senses are giving back to the soul if it is sitting inside this head. Yes, so these five senses are the corridors. So God says, make sure none of your workers are in opposition and that they are all under control. Those who are master or almighty authorities cannot be deceived by even one of the physical organs. That means eyes cannot deceive them, eyes cannot see negative, mouth cannot speak impure, ears cannot hear impure, and the mind cannot think and dwell upon impure. As soon as you say stop, they stop. Don't look at that, stop. Don't hear all those nonsense words, stop. Don't talk that, stop. So when the soul commands, the mind and intellect and habits, they command the five senses and they take them in control. And that's where we bring about control. That's where the power lies. That's where we are doing the right karma. And for doing the right karma, we have to be soul conscious. And that is what we learn in Brahma Kumaris, how to get that power back. You too can learn it with this Om Shanti.